morning welcome to the very first video um, brought to you by med deficient we provide uh, precise metallurgical services we have two offices one in Sekunda and one in Mokopani we have over 15 years experience uh, providing uh, technical support services to production in different uh, commodities whether it's coal, chrome, platinum all these different uh, commodities so this is the very first video that we're doing it's actually a tutorial on how to plot a partition curve partition curves are usually uh, are used for assessment of um, uh, um, efficiency so if you want to assess efficiency of your cyclone you probably use a partition curve for that okay let's get right to it okay i am aware that you might not be uh, seeing the kessa so I'll, um, I'll try i think in the next video i'll use um, a kessa to just show you where i'm at uh, but uh, for today's video i don't think it's going to be too much of an issue okay so with this video there's a couple of things that we would like to get right if you look at the the spreadsheet here, um, column E and F are your dashboard. So I have my dashboard there. So at the end of the day, the columns that are in orange, not good with colors, but I think this one is orange. The columns that are in orange are your input columns. And the columns that are either gray or there's no color in them, those are calculations that um, the Excel spreadsheet does for you. So if you get a hold of the spreadsheet, just know that the only columns that you need to input on, input in are your uh, orange columns, and then your gray columns will calculate. Also, your your uh, your columns that don't have colors in them are also calculations. Okay, so at the end of the day, you'd like to get your... Uh, feed ash, your product ash, discard ash, and you also want to calculate your uh, yield based on your ash balance, which will be your actual yield and your yield uh, and your discard yield, obviously. And you also want to be able to calculate your D50, your EP, which is your the slope of your partition curve, your theoretical yield, as well as your organic efficiency, near dense material, and so on and so forth. Right, so I want to focus on plotting that partition curve. So I'm gonna tell you what you need in order for you to to plot the partition curve. Right? Okay. So the first thing that you need is your sink and float samples. So you're going to need your feed. Just go up here. Your product and your waste. So you only need those three samples. Right? I'll tell you now what you, what you're going to do with those samples. Obviously, you'll do your sink and float at your different RDs, right? Uh, how you choose your RDs is a function of where your cut point is more or less going to be. You would want to magnify where your cut point is so that you can actually see what your partition curve, uh, what your what your um, separator is actually doing around your cut point. Is it misplacing material? So on and so forth. So, that being said, you choose your RDs, and then you sink and float your, your sample, uh, the different RDs, and then what, this, what you, then what you do is you get the results. The lab will probably provide you with uh, your masses at the different RDs, and your ashes at the different RDs, or your sulfur, or your CV, whatever the quality is. Uh, you're looking at then the spreadsheet will basically calculate for you your yield at uh, in terms of okay, percentages of the different masses and then your cumulative yield it will also calculate your cumulative ashes for you so basically it will do the same thing with the ash and eventually calculate the, the ashes for you this is done for the three different products for your feed uh, three different samples your feed, your product, and your waste. 
right? Once you are done doing that, 